The study aims to project the future burden of diabetes among U.S. adults using a series of dynamic models. The three-state model partitions the population into no diabetes, undiagnosed diabetes, and diagnosed diabetes. The four-state model divides the state of no diabetes into high-risk, prediabetes, and low-risk, normal glucose, states. The five-state model incorporates an intervention designed to prevent or delay diabetes in adults at high risk. The results show that annual diagnosed diabetes incidence is projected to increase from about 8 cases per 1,000 in 2008 to about 15 in 2050. Total diabetes prevalence is projected to increase from 14% in 2010 to 21% of the U.S. adult population by 2050. However, if recent increases in diabetes incidence continue and diabetes mortality is relatively low, prevalence will increase to 33% by 2050. A middle ground scenario projects a prevalence of 25% to 28% by 2050. The study suggests that widespread implementation of reasonably effective preventive interventions focused on high-risk subgroups of the population can considerably reduce, but not eliminate, future increases in diabetes prevalence. Effective strategies will need to be undertaken to moderate the impact of factors such as aging, increasing numbers of members of higher-risk minority groups in the population, and people with diabetes living longer on national diabetes burden. This article was authored by Barker Lawrence E., Greg Edward W., Thompson Theodore J., and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.